Hey, sissies, this is Maddie. So sometimes when we record, things happen. And when we recorded this episode of Before the 90 Day, we didn't know something was going on with Poodle's microphone cord. So you might hear it cut out a little bit. Our producer, Christina, did her damnedest to try to get it to uh, be as present. So that way you could get all of Poodle, you can get raw dog with Poodle as much as possible. But um, there might be some glitches. We just want to let you know nothing is wrong with your device. This is our screw up and uh, hopefully we've got it fixed for next time. All right. Enjoy the show. Gino. Yeah. Gino. Good morning. Gino, Ito, little baby. baby. Did you take your blue pill and give me that dick, Gino? I did. Yeah, I woke up with a little boca, boca, boca. Little? Boca, boca, what do you boca. mean? Next time you will come inside me uh, so I can get I, your essence, Gino. I don't know. I don't know All if of you're going to do that. Juice. I got you something. Ooh. What's I got you something. This is a you surprise You know, me I know again? you really loved your travel surprise. pocket last uh-huh. time. Uh-huh. It's exactly the same thing. Uh-huh. Thank you. So I know how Gino. you give very creative gifts from your heart. Gino. I always give from my heart, you know. Always. You know, give you my heart. Always. Because I love you. And I gave you I these. And I give you this hair extension. <sighs> it costs $350. Don't you like it when I tell you how much things cost? Gino, you need to be prepared. My hair costs thirty five hundred dollars. That's how I look like this. Whoa, that's a lot of money. I have to look beautiful. I am not going to look like some some tree trash in Michigan. I'm sure everyone there is very classy and 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 fancy. Fat. What? Everyone there's fat. Oh, I look so good then. I just know that you need to know that maybe when we get to Michigan, we might not have all these things. Say that again. I mean, I was not... just kidding. I didn't need you to say it again. <laughs> I'm just saying. What we may not, what? we may not have all of this when you come to Michigan. I will not compromise myself for you, you know, for anyone else. I'm giving you my heart. I'm giving you all. Your my wig's wisdom. slipping. Oh, that's oh. that's in, that's oh. unfortunate. <laughs> We're going to say unseen here because your wig fell off. Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, maybe. Love. <laughs> Exciting and new. <laughs> Go online. Mm. They're catfishing you. Fiance. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day fiance. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> It's reality game. Let's love. Oh. Yo, this is reality gaze. This is reality gaze. That was reality Jean Desmond. Yeah, hold on. I if, my wig. Can we do this after the after the show is filmed? Yeah, I just don't want it to look like trash. Can we put it down on the floor? I maybe don't, you don't take care of your stuff. So I just but want to make sure we don't have a wig looks- master. New job. For Fix your mic, here. condom. We, someone, we can new job. We need to get a wig master. Yo. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> this is Reality Gaze. This is season six, episode four. Um, this season is turning out to be amazing. Wonderful. I, I, wonderful. This, was okay. a, this was a harder episode to watch for Gino and Jasmine. But uh, again, a lot of people keep saying that a lot of people keep going back to the idea of Gino and not giving Jasmine enough sex, or either wondering if he's attracted to her. And I think that is completely irrelevant why he's behaving this way. I still think this is about control. I think everything he has done with the whole plate thing, trying not wanting to cut her up on a, on a peeler, is not wanting to let her have her way. He's testing her. 
He's trying to make her, he's pushing back. I can see that, but I can feel it, especially when she said they've only had sex seven times. Oh, I in agree their relationship. with that. And, and I, I don't, some people are like, is he gay? I don't think it's any no. of that. I just, I, there is a part of him that still feels like he's not, it's not that he's not into her. It's that there's something about her that repulses him. That may be true. And maybe it's because of how she acts and yells over him. Yeah. But it, it is translate something is translating to a repulsion. I and I, I really do I stand I stand uh I really stand gaily. by the idea I stand okay. gaily. Mm -hmm. Um that he'd be, he's been watching cams for so long he doesn't know how to actually have sex with Well someone. I totally think that. Yeah. Um anyway Y'all, Gino and Jasmine, before we start, we should just You do don't a always need of... porn to beat off or finger bang yourself. Sometimes just go to an imaginative place, y'all. It's good for <laughs> it. Put that phone just, down and just go close, to town. Just close your eyes. Yeah. It's, it's the best porn you'll ever see, but you got to work a lot harder. That's the only you, problem. Yeah, you sometimes gotta... porn is right there in front of you. You don't have to work very hard at all. Well, sometimes you've got two minutes before you pick your kids up at a play group, and you've got to get it done. That makes sense. But if you have a morning, you've got a nice 10 a minutes. A quick car finger bang. Well, maybe you got in the car, <laughs> but hey. You said you got that time. Well, before you had to leave. But whatever. If that, gear, if that gear shift in that Dodge Caravan looks like it's calling for you, <laughs> oh, wow. or that Honda Odyssey, you do what you need to do. Do, 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 do. The more you know. We're sex positive. So next time you're in the car, the pick the the car line or the the pickup line for the kids, know that gear shift is right there. <laughs> hey, lady. Hey. Um, couple couple of announcements. Uh, we will we have one more week, uh, kind of on, and then we will be off. Mm -hmm. Um, for a week for July fourth. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this one will be off for about three weeks while whatever traumatic things they did to your face uh -huh. heals. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully it heals. Uh, where it's it's passable. maybe not. Well, well, you'll have to do something because I well, can't look at your face. I you'll have to. I'll look like Quasimodo for the rest of my life. We'll have to. You'll have to suit them then. Yeah. Maybe just put, you can wear a mask. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and I'll let you know how, I'll let everybody know how Colum Columbia went. If oh. I come back, what if, what if for some reason I, and then you get disfigured? What happens to the show? It's audio, so I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'll be not like here. somewhere, poodle somewhere in Columbia, but I'll just keep <laughs> on going. I'm like those, I'll get lost like those children did. Did you hear yeah. that story of the children who survived for like 40 days in Colombia? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll call John and Teresa from Married to Reality. <gasps> we'll sub. How dare you? I'll, I have I'll, some, I'll, get the, I'll get some of the hot meat. I'll, like I, like and, what you're doing when I'm gone. And we'll have some subs coming in for you. Some <sighs> graciously subs picking up your slack. Um and Robin and Michelle of Bloody Day are going to be with me on uh next week's uh intimate portrait. It's good, and they are fine with showing their faces. I've I've told them so. okay. They've showed them their faces before. They're both so very beautiful. It's not like Ken, Kim and Kyle who are no, they won't show circus shit. freaks. Yeah, they won't yeah. show it. They will. <laughs> you don't that. I mean that huge wart on Kim's face. She gives uh, what's her name from you mean? <laughs> That's my not ex nice to say. Yeah. Kim is actually beautiful. I don't know. Kyle's real hot. They're all. They're both. They're both attractive. Yeah. Even um, Kyle with like that long hair that goes down to his ass in braids. <laughs> braids. It's very pretty. Uh, Mer 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 Mercurius. Mercur the Mercurius of Mer people. Is up. It's great. And if you are more curious, you definitely need to watch the Thank show. Thank you for the sissies who live close who said that we could come swim in their pool. I'm actually thinking about it. No, I'm not. Why not? Uh, it feels like a ploy. It feels like I'd be kept in a cage to perform for their amusement. Well, yeah, dance monkey, swim. Yeah, I'm not. Mm. Yeah. What if they give you uh, free booze? I'm not sure I'd be able to leave. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> Could you drink all their booze? No, we need to be careful. They're going to put oh. us in a cage. Yeah, Den Mother Jackie wouldn't like it. Yeah. She wouldn't like it. 
Um, other than that, that's that's, that's it. it. We're the getting, Squad yeah. is going to take off for the week too, so it'll be archived. We're recording this on the summer solstice. Happy summer solstice, week and sissies. Oh, yeah. This is a good time to work with too, Channy says, because you don't want to work in the new moon. Because she said, because guess what the new moon is in Gemini. Just like a Gemini man, like Ooh. Chloe and Christian. You don't want to touch that shit. Boy. Cleo and Christian. What did I say? Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> Cleo. Cleo. Uh, I think, I think that's it. So y'all, I hope, I hope if you're, if you're traveling yes. in the, uh, we also have some, uh, because we're going to be gone, we're not leaving you hanging completely. We're going to have a Q and A episode that is probably going to be in two parts. So More gone. about Gino and Jasmine. So they, they wake up after they fucked that morning. And Again, though, when she said this, when she said the seventh time he's had, they've had sex. That's I'm like, they've been together for two years. And granted, they don't live together, but you would think when they're together, you just kind of assume they're banging every day or maybe every other day. Yeah, I mean. At least an old fashioned. But I think on a I tram the, ride. I still think the problem is not him being sexually interested in her because I think he's pretty simple that way. I think there's something in his brain that he thinks she's winning and humiliating him. And he definitely has a lot of anger. Yeah, um, a lot of anger against her, and you see that come up in this. Yep. And so we, we 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 already did the in a theater. We already did showed you the the first it scene. Could, it really could be the anger thing, like he talks about. That, because I mean, I do think though it turns into the the thing like of him like rolling over. That was like there's there is a bit of repulsion, but there you know that whole. What I think is he's that? doing it to hurt her. What gets repressed gets expressed. Whether yep. you want it, whether you think it does or not. So I think it is expressed. I think he's being itself. cruel. I think this is neglect, and this is the way he is trying to kind of – I think he's trying to show her who's boss by doing – by taking away the one thing she needs, which is cruel. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I believe it's that. Um, so we already talked. They do the gifts and all that. We're getting breakfast. Um, at a restaurant, and – um, I'm kind of impressed. This means they're going to have a lot of drama because normally this whole idea of the prenup, this would have been the entire arc of 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, agree. They wouldn't have talked about this till like at least 12 episodes yeah. in. Gino, I give you a massage and a happy ending. Happy ending, Gino. That's not what I want. But that's what I you want, want, want Gino. No, it's not one in any of yes, that. You want the <laughs> with my hand, Gino, Gino Lito, and so they're in this kind of bakery, and y'all, his sandals are shaking when she's going to bring up the perner because basically he feels like she knows about his retirement fund and feels like she can spend it. Yeah, and he's like that can't happen. And what he says is, Jasmine, I've been working hard since I graduated college. She's like, I get that part. <laughs> I, yeah, she says. Yes, she says. Uh, she says, yes, I get that part. And then I'm just said, trying to explain yes, to you. Are you going to lose your money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I want to talk to you about signing a... And then for about three minutes... <laughs> Jasmine just looks at him. <laughs> it hurts me that you would think I'm marrying you to divorce you. She's very calm about it, actually. Yeah. I have to say it first. Um, no, I think we're going to get married and be together forever. Uh-huh. Fuck you a uh-huh. hundred times. That's that's what she says. And that's, she's like, oh, you sound so, that's what Jasmine does, which is terrible. When she gets angry at him, she starts saying, you sound stupid. You're so stupid. And then she basically tells him he's a piece of shit. She and takes, tries to make him feel worthless. And that's where I think his anger comes from more me than too. anything. She takes everything personally that he says to her. When something she can take personally. But what what she does is what he saw for the first time that I don't think he really noticed 
he saw himself on TV and probably had watch parties with his friends and family. And they said, look, Gino, she's walking all over you. Yeah. And he got furious. Yeah. Because I don't think he knew it was happening to him at the time. I said that last week. I think he watched it. Yeah. And his friends got to see I think this is Gino Gino 2.0. He thinks he's going to get in there and and take Jasmine and kind of like be the boss. That doesn't work for Jasmine. No, it does not work. It's for going Jasmine. to trigger her more. She, there is, but, well, I want to say that she's not compromising at all. However, but you don't know what the end game is. She does speak, I will say, she does speak to him a little bit. Yeah. She like has an on and off switch. He push, pushes her to a point, or he didn't push her. She gets to a point and then she becomes old Jasmine. But the way she talks to him, like even when she said, that she said something like, and I went, oh, someone has like therapy language. Like the way she talked to him last week about he thinks differently. Yeah. And this week she said, he said, well, I'm just trying to protect, uh, you know, or the money I earned. And she's like, okay, that's your point of view. And I have my point of view. And I went, yeah, that is, a, I agree. That is not a normal Jasmine I, thing to I say. I think she's a very intelligent person. I think she's trying, but I don't know. I do think she loves Gino, but I don't know if she's trying out of love for him and also because bitch wants to come to the u.s i think it's part of that i don't think that every single moment she's with him she wants to scream we will do things my way yeah and because that's and she's trying to keep that at bay and gino's making that a lot harder and at one point she says, uh, she, but Gino says, you told me that you, that you would rather be dead. You may be dead than with another person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he said it was like, that was sweet. <laughs> How could she just say that? But I know that I can see her saying, Gino, if you were with someone else, I'd kill you. I or she's like, I'd rather you be dead than be with another person. Now, what's interesting here. Jasmine is that person. If she got cancer and died young, he would say, Jasmine, do you want me to find love? She's like, no. How could you, Gina? No. I, know. <laughs> I adore her. <laughs> She's great TV. So later on, uh, the next day, she said, we are no longer engaged. So the next day, Gino sleeps. Was it, was it at that restaurant that she takes off the ring? I think so. She takes yeah. off the ring and gives it to him and all that. And so later on, she's like, Jasmine hasn't spoken to me today. We slept in different rooms. But I've written a proposal. Uh, to see what best works, and I'm gonna ask. And she goes in to see her, y'all. And she yes. goes. She goes. She opens the door. She and goes. Are you talking about me? When it was the day before that, she goes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> y'all want to talk? This isn't the proposal. Not like with Sandra Bullock. No, this no. is my proposal by Gino. And you know um, what? We're gonna take a commercial break. Good idea. Break, and then when we come back, we're gonna hear it. So I have a proposal. Yes, yes. What is it? I, I'm, uh, well, I, I, I. Yes, yes. Uh, I, it's, if, if, I just want to say. Oh, yeah. just give it to me, Gino! <laughs> My favorite, though, is she says. <laughs> My favorite when she says. Be careful what you say. Be careful. Yeah, she just said that. <laughs> And then, and then she's like, it's total, y'all, it's fucked up. It's totally fear and intimidate. So he's yeah. neglecting her, which yeah. is a, not great. She is totally emotionally blackmailing <laughs> him and using fear to control and him. And it's amazing it's to both. watch. Oh, they're wonderful together. If there is a prenup, there is no marriage. No marriage. And then they, my favorite were Gino, he was, that is the letter, when he's talking in the bedroom, he's just kind of talking sensibly, and they cut to Jasmine going, <laughs> just like a male Brooks, like they have somebody with fake tears just coming out of their eyes. It's incredible. Uh, incredible. This whole scene is just to how different people think about things. He's trying to write down. And what he says later on, you guys, is he thinks this is going to be enough for her. She's like, I don't touch me. Ooh. I'm touching your foot. He basically says, but you, you, don't, you don't understand, Jasmine. If I'm the person who initiates divorce, you're going to get the most financial <clears throat> benefit. Yo, so that's when she grabs it. That's when she grabs it. to tear it up. 
And she calls, starts calling, and that's where they get, which it's riveting because it's T, but that's where she's like, basically tells him like he's a piece of shit. And then Gino says, She's horrible in bed. Yeah, and then says, uh, "You're the." She's. He's like, "You're the worst sexual person in the world," which is a weird way to say. And she's like, "Why aren't you fucking your ex?" She's and because like, she's, good she's like, "Yes, yeah, she's like, you don't know my ex. My ex is what? Do you know my ex is what? Beautiful. They're they're from Britain. They have beautiful smiles. They have big dicks, and they fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, <laughs> Gino. They fuck me." And then Gino says. <clears throat> Then why aren't you with your ex? <laughs> yeah. And I went. And, 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 and I drop. It's kind of nice to see that Gino's getting these comebacks. Because honestly, y'all, she says she wants chaos. The reason why she's not with a lot of like the guy she was, a lot of successful, she doesn't want someone driving the ship. 100%. It's not like anybody I know sitting on this couch. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's talk about Riolet. 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 Boy, so many, so many things came up for me during this. <clears throat> um, he's about to land in Vietnam, and we had a bet. Whoever, whoever, like, uh, touches the other one first has control. I think this that's is so... Not- I think, but I will say, it's not just him. I agree with it's you. It's from her too. Like she, y'all, this is DOA. I think, I, but I, it's because they, not we thought just he has all this relationship trauma. No, I think she does too. I think she does too. I think he's trying to one up her on it though. I I agree, but I think they. I think that's their relationship. They both one up each other. I bet she's gonna give it back to him. No, I agree. Just based off the way she acted with him being, because I mean, I think I think neither of these people can be vulnerable, hundred percent. And uh, and so it's this idea of she sees he sees her. You're beautiful. He hugs her. He's like, oh, you lost. I have control, and I'm the boss. And then she's like, you got a nice ass, which made me a little sick. Just the way he said it. I, that didn't make me sick. I mean. No, I mean, I'm, I, hey, I'm glad that you're like, g- 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 that you're into her, you know, if I just it was, met someone. It's all in the way he said it. That was something they showed on the, they showed on the thing because that was to creep people out. But it was she liked it. it. I, <laughs> I know, but you, you didn't think that was anything just, it was I've the heard, way he said it. I think I've heard too many, too many I um, think you, men you, tell me I got a nice ass. That way? Yeah. Just sounds it, normal to me. It just the way he said it felt erotic. No, sweet. No, calming. No. It felt um, it felt dehumanizing. <laughs> Maybe that's just your words. <laughs> I got mine. But I thought like later though he says like they're hugging and I thought I was surprised like he looked at me and said can I kiss you? And she uh, said yes. I and- I I at least. Thought that was nice. Um, they seem to be very. That's why later on it's so different. I I feel like I totally agree with you on the one up thing, because Riley like seems very excited to see him, but then later and I went, oh, it's not just him. You both like to play games with people. Well, let's keep talking about this. They get two rooms at the hotel because she says it's not appropriate to share the same room. Mm-hmm. He does tell her, "You look beautiful." I guess she went, reminded him. She said, "You know, men usually the oh, men is, wait for a woman here." Yeah. I wonder. I would love. I don't know if we have any uh, sissies, Vietnamese sissies, or, but I wonder as we go along, how much of this is real stuff, or if she's just telling him how shit. much how she needs to be treated. Yeah. Interesting because I think all of this is to get a reaction out of him because I think she needs that. Yeah. But I think she's misunderstanding how he's going to get offended because this guy's feelings are so – they're like he's very fragile. spider web, y'all. Yeah. And I don't think – because he's, got, he's, got he's a big talker, but boy, his emotions are like a little glass Remember, menagerie. y'all, he doesn't say the L word. Yeah. And 
and not lesbian like the show. We mean love. We see that later on uh, when he gives her the pearls and <laughs> he pats some of the cheeks like, oh, well, I brought you pearls. All I get is pat some of the cheek. She's like, pearls are really common here and I don't really like them. She's like, yeah, these are shows. And it does seem like, to me, maybe this is me, pearls are not a very sentimental gift. A lot of women find pearls um, old school and old lady-ish. And I see a lot of gays, gay guys wearing them now. Gay guys are wearing pearl necklaces? Mm -hmm. Does that mean they want you to come on their chest? No, I think it's like jewelry, ironic jewelry. Huh. And a lot of guys who are non-binary wear them. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, I don't think they look very good on me. I do think, though, if, if anybody gave me, like, jewelry, I at least would, like, say, my significant other, I'd probably at least give him, like, a, a kiss, a peck, I a kiss. I totally agree I, with you. I would feel very, imagine if you gave someone something and they patted your face the way your Aunt Jane would. I agree. I, you would have gone ballistic. So he says, well, we got a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot to work on. I have a lot of questions. And I like it how she shut that shit down. She was like, not tonight. This is my birthday. My birthday. Let's and, just have fun. And then she said, well, what are you doing tomorrow? She's like, well, I'm a little bit busy because I've got this thing for school because she's a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And he goes, whoa. And he's like, tomorrow you want to relax. And then if you want to, you can beat me out for dinner. Now they have two weeks. So what she's trying to do here is set a boundary. Uh, yes, it's because I get, is it shitty the first full day he's there that she's not able to take off with him? Yeah, should have planned it that way. But it's also like, it's you also, don't know what like her, her job. Life, you don't know what her life is like. You don't know how much time off she ha has. Like it's, yeah, there's a lot of assumptions to be made. But, and then he says, but, so, I just want to follow what you said. It's more than that. I bet she could probably even get her day job off. It's that she wants to show you like, hey, I'm not giving you the whole hog here. Yeah. You're going to have to work for this and you're going to have to. And I think this trip where, because he says that she doesn't tell him a lot of things and it's secret. She has secrets. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to be less, not that she's dating other people, although the more and more I get to know her, I'm like, I could totally see her. She's still on the app. On the yeah. But I think this, you're right. I think this whole trip for her is going to be about, I'm going to show you what your place is in this relationship. Yeah. And because I think she's been treated like a second class citizen and mm -hmm. she's trying to learn how to set boundaries. Um, and, and he doesn't want that in someone. He wants someone that is this, his, in his head, fairy tale totally devoted to him. This Vietnamese woman who, were, who would be uh, culturally submissive. And probably when she was texting with him and talking to them, like those were times they agreed upon. So she had set aside time for him. Mm -hmm. It's and not going to go good. But that's what he's saying. I don't understand how I'm not a priority. My feelings mean a lot. But what about my feelings? Yeah. I'm, but I'm tired of this fucking narrative. I'm tired of the man saying, Why she not me? She didn't, she didn't do this. Yeah. I mean, dude, she's got to work. And wanting sympathy. And he, the way he says it is like, I'm just so justified here. Yeah, I think th maybe the cultural component comes in is that, well, again, we're used to... Um, My shorts are riding up. <laughs> so sorry if you're watching this on the Intimate <laughs> Poetry. You just saw Poodle's monkey brains. <laughs> Balls. Practically, the, those bottoms, uh, bottoms only. Bottom those, lab. Bottoms it, lab. Their material's very thin. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't, I, they're, yeah, we'll see. They're going to be, they're completely, I think, DOA, but I, or maybe they'll fight and get along, but there's going to be, um, there's going to be shit that comes out about her. And he's going to lose his ever loving mind. Yeah. I think it's this idea. I want to go back to what he said. I don't want to understand things. I want to overstand things. Yeah. I have a feeling the private investigator will be called. Yeah. I think I agree with you. Will be called. Amanda and Rosbond. Oh, boy. The dark story that gets ever darker. 
<laughs> so let's, I think we talked about it last time, but is there any more tea that's dropped about, because sissies are going in investigating them. Well, it, what's interesting is, and people are speculating. Like someone sent me, someone actually made an actual time. Oh, timeline. Yeah, I've seen it too. I, that made me laugh so hard. And my favorite is like, Amanda is born. <laughs> yeah, I, now, yeah. I'm not judging her for marrying an older man. I'm not judging that at all. Um, that happens all the time. Um, it's happened to you three, four times. Yeah, but two of them we don't talk about. Okay, twice. They're still a pending investigation. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, only the crocodiles know about the other. Wow. As I said before on one show, crocodile or alligators don't tell secrets, y'all. Yeah, I don't need, like this someone conversation. Says, someone said that that should be on a merch shirt. No. <laughs> No, it shouldn't. Alligators don't tell secrets, y'all. I'm uncomfortable. They keep to themselves. Anyway. The views of Jake Anthony are not the views of reality gays. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so I don't think we know that already it's kind of come out that he was talking to her a month before her husband B before died. Before the husband died. Yeah, so when he was sick. And she was writing little messages and she was already commenting. And look, who knows? It, it, to me, I, I, that's that's not what I'm, I want to be all my. I don't, don't want to sink all my judgment into that. Yeah, I I just I have a problem with her lying about it. That's because I want maybe you and your husband. I do know people that are like that. You know, there are sometimes when people have a significant other and they they try to get somebody and somebody they know. I I understand why so they feel at peace. I I understand why she would want to say because it would make her look even worse. But I think I would ask myself, is there a record of this anywhere? Maybe I should try to go back and scrub my TikToks. Yo, we need, we need, Again, a, we need when a Poodle course. finally gets on a reality show, oh, you'll know because he I'm deletes scrubbing everything. 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 Like, th that's the thing. It's like, we need to start a business. If you're going on one of these reality shows, let us know. Come to us. We'll make you take that Nazi shit off your post. We'll go. We'll make you take that thing like Elena when you're talking about black people or, yeah. or going in blackface. We'll, the part of the questionnaire says, "Have you gone in blackface?" <laughs> and we go. They, there's like maybe, and I'm like, give us a give us a couple of days. Again, though, but we we've, we've talked about. The budget of Matt Sharp. I mean, they're playing Pond 5 music. They probably don't have yeah. much t money to do research. Yeah, I, I get that, but it doesn't help you on the show. It doesn't. Um, anyway, so he's, he's making pancakes because he's known as the pancake guy. I think he's just known as being slutty. Who makes them, the, makes them shirt who... And spreads chocolate on his body. Yeah, I, I don't know if the pancakes probably taste as good as the chocolate off of his body. Would you be into chocolate? Would you be into chocolate with that? You know, I think I would lick chocolate off of his body because his body. I don't. I wouldn't like it because it's chocolate. I would mm -hmm. do it for the experience of we it. We talked about this on Below Deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't eat sushi off a body. You wouldn't eat sushi Gary's. off of Rasmus' body. I think I would eat sushi off of Rasmus' body. I think you would eat three day old McDonald's French fries <laughs> out of Rasmus' butthole. Three days is nothing. <laughs> um, he said, You fell asleep so quickly last night. I wanted to cuddle and talk. And she was like, Yeah, well, I was tired. She said she feels like he's pushing too much to tell our kids about our relationships. I think she, uh, what she's being butthurt about it is he, she is trying not to let him know anything about her. I she agree. is not sharing anything. She's not. And I still stand by. I don't think she's into him. I know people. You people have people. Some people agree with you. I think she is because I don't know why she'd be there. She wants to get out of her life. Okay. She wants to escape, I think. And I think she thought this guy would be the great escape. And then she's like, I can't do this. And so she's, you think it was the ick because it's finally happening in real life. Yeah. And now we know probably guilt because she was potentially cheating on this, cheating on her husband or yeah. whatever. But regardless, I don't want to say cheating on her. We don't know the situation. But regardless... She was talking to this guy before her husband died. Yeah. So 
and emotionally connecting with him. Right. So now they're going to a grocery store. What he's trying to do here, you guys, is kind of make her happy. Everything about this everything trip, he does, he so far he's been like for her happiness. And so you got to feel bad for him. Oh yeah. And she's just acting like Polly Prissy Pants in this store. She's got again. We've said it, but that Kalani, uh, Kalini, I'm a cool girl. Yeah. She's like, we can make pizza. I don't eat dairy. Fine. She doesn't eat tuna. She's like, doesn't eat any packaged food. Doesn't like packaged waffles. Which, which I, is a big thing overseas. I It is. And I get it. But like, you're overseas. So make, maybe make us, instead of saying no, 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 you could say, what if we go over there and look at the produce? Instead of letting him present things to you. Well, because what she wants is chicken fingers and french fries, y'all. <laughs> but That's, she doesn't eat packaged food. That's what she says. No, but I mean, like, that's what she orders at every restaurant. Probably. Y'all, this one has the, it's not as bad as nickels, but it is close to a nickel of nickel but and as in she, palette. And she doesn't like shellfish. She doesn't eat shellfish. And she's like, I've told you all this before. But she's like, they, they do find one jar of salsa that she will eat. Um, and then, <sighs> uh, Later on, the next part's terrifying. She just annoys the shit out of me. And Same. she says, My dream, he said, My dream is to be a country, a cowboy, a country. So I, I watched his music video. Did you? Yes. Um, people have been asking about his voice. Um, it's not what I say, it's not dot, dot, dot bad. But, but it's not a great voice. It's well, what he needs to do, he needs to be taught to actually use some space in Sing. his voice. Because right now it sounds like he's singing through his nose with no space. I I don't think I think he's just someone who he can match pitch well enough and sing, but there's not any uniqueness or beauty in his voice. That's enough. He just well no, that yeah, that's enough. But <laughs> have you heard your have you heard Eurovision? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But he has no range or anything like it, that. That is okay. What you said about match pitch, that's not you don't even need that for Europe. That's true. That's true. European pop is not this have, doesn't have the same values that we do. Then he have. could probably be a star. I, I think he might with those with that look. But I think when I bring it up, it's two different things. People are like, Do you like his voice? That that's that's what I'm saying. It's a different thing than if he could be a have a pop song. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um it's but pitch wise, it's not going to be awful. No. Um, so they're talking about they're going to a park, and they're like, maybe you can a horror murder park because there are a lot of birds. You have I a mean, problem with you guys? That. If I'm walking in a park and I hear all around me, and then I'm thinking, there's no, 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 I'm, and you see the bird poop everywhere, and then Amanda, go, Amanda's like, well, we are in Romania. What if there's bats? in the trees and some bats are going to be looking at you just thinking they could kill you <laughs> anyway i'm glad that you bring that up because i think it's time for another installment oh no of reality gaze theater romanian <sighs> park edition chirp chirp terrifying i'll be playing <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, oh, did that scare you? Yeah, it did. <laughs> you actually what did we? Your what did we do that? That was when we did the horror. We did the the haunted house with Nathan and Skyler. With Nathan and Skyler oh, oh, and Skyler. Lala. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he proposed to her in the haunted house <laughs> and the screaming. No. That season gave us a lot of good ones. It was. I'm excited for it to come back. <sighs> Come back mid July. That preview looks nuts. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, when it's did, when nuts. did it drop? I think you shared it on our stories, or maybe Caitlin did. Maybe I watched it. And I don't remember now. That sounds more appropriate. I don't. I didn't see it. Um, I'll right. be playing. Uh, I think I'll play Razvan. Razvan. Okay. Or do you want to? I don't care. What do you feel led towards? I'll be Amanda. Okay. Uh, so I know what it's like to have somebody die from cancer in your life. <laughs> I'll play off real, real daddy's box. I'll play off real life. <laughs> so, um, and action. So, Amanda, well, yeah, there's so many Amanda, yeah. there's uh, yeah. we're gonna, yeah. would you like to be in the video yeah. shoot yeah. for my 
video. Uh, for my music video, I okay. have, have to have a girl. Do you want to be what? in it? Oh, um, Ooh, yeah. There's people down there. What is that? Do you hear that? There better not be a bad. Bats your kids. Why are you? Why are you talking to me, bats? <laughs> This segment got very weird, but I'm gonna roll with it. It's don't just, me. it's just a bad event. No, I don't so want to be in your I, video. I'm not an actress. I well, girl, you don't have, you don't have to. girl. It's not really hard to be an actress. You just act on the video. Come on, you can, you can do it. You know you Who is talking? Oh, is that God? Is that God it's from my, God. from my? Are you sure? Because I have a lot of God blankets. Rasvin, do you hear that? You're not going to kiss the girl, are you? Well, I was Why? thinking about it. Why? You know you have to kiss a girl. What? Are trying to hear bats? Yeah, I'm hearing something talk to me. It might be the Lord or a bat or maybe my own just, just deafening, deafening, paralyzing shame and guilt. That's what I am, girl. I'm your shame and guilt. I followed you all the way here from the home. Make it stop, Raza. Ah, ah, ah. Too many chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime the bat from Wuhan can make <laughs> Glad he found his way to Romania. He travels. Yeah. He travels. Very well traveled. Miss COVID didn't come with him this time. No. So I guess they're apart. Now, right after this, the pr they she's call the being, producer. Say, she's being stupid it's ridiculous. and ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You guys. If your significant other is an actor, they're going to have to kiss people and sometimes simulate fucking someone. Yeah. That's part of them being an actor. It makes her sound like a naive rube when she... I'm telling you, you know what I said last episode? The husband did everything and she did 100%. nothing. Y'all, I just... Are we recording? Okay, we are. I think Jesus. she... I think that, yeah. Also, they, they call the producer, and he's talking about the producer, and basically he's saying... Now, he does talk about her and saying, it's test to see if she can handle the fame. And then, thank God, unlike you know some other people have done, he actually tells her verbatim what he told the producer. But she didn't care, because she was like, why are you talking about me like I'm not here? Now, it must have taken a long time, because I will say they sat down in the daytime, and when and they it left, was it was dark. dark. It was night. Ooh, it's a, my favorite kind of time. What is that? But the way she acted, like, she was like, I can't believe you're talking about me like I'm not here. And I went, he's speaking another and language. You're not going to understand it, you self-centered princess. Yeah. Then... So they're talking about the kiss, and, and then he's like, well, it, it's just going to be, and they're kind of talking about it, and she's like, okay, fine. Then, um, or, or sorry, she, she, sorry, he says, okay, fine, you know what, we, 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 we won't he do He says, I won't kiss, and she, and says, she says, you do whatever you want to do. Your this, actions will tell me. That's so fucking passive aggressive. Is one of the worst things you can do to someone. Because she's not, yeah, sorry, go ahead. When you say, she's like, no, I'm just. So you, so you're just saying your feelings. You're not actually saying what you want, because if you said what you want, and someone, then someone can come back with what they want. But if you don't ever say what you want, then you can always punish someone yes. for not giving you what you want. This is the most punishing way to treat someone. It's a step further than passive aggression, because it basically it says. It basically says, do what you want to do. You're going to have to deal with reper repercussions. In other words, whatever you choose, unless it's what I'm asking you to do, is not going to be good for you. But I'm not going to want it. So you're going to have to be in a state of constant, constant despair about what I want you to do. Run, Razvan. Run. Run, run, run. Your run actions this will tell one. me what I need to know. And he basically says, my ex and I broke up because she was jealous and she did not support my career. Uh, I want him to do gay porn. God. And I would watch I would that. Love. I would sign up for his OnlyFans. Me too. I'd put it on the company card. That's kind of that, like that. I did that bluebell ice cream I got. <laughs> Y'all, and I posted that video. You see, that Dr. I Pepper ice cream is delicious. I still don't know if that's a company card. <laughs> Wasn't up for debate. Yeah. I mean, think of it this way. We could use your Napster or whatever torrent things you pay for to download gay porn. We could. That could be a write-off because 
every time we do a watch along, you press the wrong button and we end up watching your gay porn <laughs> in the middle of the that. television. Remember yes. that? <laughs> yes. When I Y'all, sat down to do the a good watch days. along and Jake pressed the wrong button and then I just see like some guy getting like quadruple peed. <laughs> You're like, how can so many dicks fit in there? I was scandalized. Oh, I'm sure. Escandalo. That's the show. Escandalo. Y'all, that's reality, guys. Thank you for joining us this week. This has been a really good episode. Um, Again, they're not going to take off the week of July 4th. They will not. They're going to still air an episode. We're not covering it. The episode, no. Sorry, let me clarify. The episode that's coming out on Sunday, June 2nd, uh, I and July Michelle. 2nd. Sorry, thank you. July second. I and Michelle and Robin for oh, Bloody Day. Oh, because we're getting it early. Yes, we'll okay. be covering the episode that's airing July 9th, We will not, not be, covering. be covering. Yes, good clarification. So July 9th, we will not mm-hmm. be covering. All right, everybody, that's the deal. We call because we're pe- off. We're off. You're gonna be getting, like a prom dress. You're gonna be getting fucked in Columbia, possibly by by quadruple. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, you're gonna be like the the one guy that went. I forget from like season one. And if the first person doesn't work out, you're just gonna <laughs> call someone else. We call these people lonely hearts, y'all, because aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love in all the wrong places, poodle? Yes. And if you've ever wanted to, if you've ever wanted to tell someone, be careful what you say to me, <laughs> which. God, that's actually Mother Poodle energy. I, I, no, my, my mother would go, be careful. <laughs> Better be careful. If you have that, you can call, call us. us.